Hey guys, welcome back. Wanted to take you through our first bioactive build. Me and Audrey are going to try to do this for the new Toke Echoes we got. Stay tuned. First things you want to do is rinse out your lava rocks or your hydrogen clay balls that you're going to be using in your drainage layer. You'll see here us just rinsing it off in a 30 quart tub but we ended up using a colander to do this to rinse it till the water was clear running through. So we're going to cut this to size leaving about an inch and a half at the bottom for our drainage layer. The substrate will cover that up so you won't see it once this is all done. And we're going to use silicone, adhesive silicone to keep it to the back. You're going to want to make sure that that is 100% all natural silicone when you're doing that. And this is 14, what's it say? Like? Cork is 14 inches. So the next step will be getting this silicone all over the backing so that when we put it on, it sticks. Oh my God. What is that? Ugh, it's hideous. All right, while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna mix our substrate together. So we've got expanded cocoa cord here. We just bought a, a brick of it, uh, dehydrated compressed cocoa core. We're gonna pour that in. Um, a little bit of uh, sphagnum moss. We wanna save the rest for the a layer. Maybe leave that there. And then we've got reptosoil, soil, which helps create bacteria in the soil. Keep that natural cycle. And then the last thing we're going to add is Reptichip to this and then we're going to mix it all up. Use your own judgment and just get a good consistency that you want and then just make sure you mix it through. So we're cutting our filter floss media here. This will be our barrier in between our substrate and our drainage layer. Hey guys, this is Future Chris. I was just in the process of editing this video and realized I forgot to explain that what I'm clipping here is the egg crate and I got it from Home Depot and we want to cut this to size of the tank and you'll see where it goes soon. All right, so before we put in our drainage layer, I am gonna put in our diffuser. Now this will go over the drainage layer, but I want as much room in this enclosure in particular to be able to squeeze this in. Just because it is such a long piece, I have to kind of angle it. I'm going to leave that back there, and now we're going to put in our clay balls, our hydrogen. Audrey, oh, you want to pour those in there? And then in the drainage layer, I'm just putting some bacteria starter so we can get that good bacteria going and cycle it. Now we're gonna add a little bit of distilled water that we got from the store to the drainage layer here. Just a little. You don't want it to fill the whole thing. So we could start that cycle. All right, now we're gonna, on top of the light diffuser, we're gonna put in the filter floss media, which is already cut to size. We did that earlier so we can Keep the 
substrate from falling through to the drainage layer. I cut it a little bigger, figuring we could tuck it in and keep keep substrate from getting around the edges. All right, now we can add substrate. Dun, 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 dun. All right, put that on the ground. Now this is the substrate mixture. And we're going to add about an inch or to two inches of this. And you can see, like I said earlier, that's covering our, you'll see it's going to cover our background, the bottom of it here. How's that looking? <laughs> now we can add our isopods and springtails. So for these, I've been letting these kind of collinate in here for a little while. I'm just putting snake sheds in there and vegetables and bread here and there. But these were from another enclosure that we had. That way I didn't have to go out buy and rebuy springtails. So I essentially just took a little scoop of substrate full of them from another enclosure. Put them in these here, kept them moist, put food with them. And now we're going to add those in. So we have our cleanup crew. All right. Now from there, let's add our hardscapes. So our cork rounds, cork flats is what we're going to be using. We got some cork rounds here. And with this species, with the Tokay geckos, the vertical is very important. They like height. So I want to build up some height here, places for them to climb and hide. We have to use this. Look at this. This is like perfect for token geckos. Yeah, that is good. Perfect here. We can Take that one. Uh, the babies can come out of there. That works perfectly. Okay. Small pieces. Now we can look at our plants. Plants. It means we gotta wash the roots off yet. You always want to wash off your plants no matter where you buy them. Make sure there's no pesticides, potential parasites on them. Uh, so the best thing to do is wash them off completely and wash the roots off, the, all the soil off of them. So we'll be right back. A few moments later. Dad, look at how good this plant is doing. Cool. All right, so we got all our roots washed off, so we're gonna plant these. This one, I'm gonna pull this out and start it back here. Should I put one right here? Yeah. Where's the third one? Oh, you got one here? Yeah. Oh, you need this? Here, take this. And then make sure that can get light from the UVBs. Or from the grow light. Mm -hmm. uh, we can add our moss layer now. And then our leaf layer too. And our leaf layer. Now the meat, the moss, we're adding some sphagnum moss on a layer here. That'll, that along with the leaf litter will help keep the isopods concealed from the geckos. I'm really not sure how this is going to go with the Tokay geckos, whether they're going to eat my isopods or not. Alright, sorry guys. Battery died there. We just finished putting in that leaf layer. I don't think you missed much. So it's starting to come together. We've currently got the geckos in a holding bin with some cork rounds and cork flats. So we are going to introduce them. So we're gonna introduce the male and he is already in a cork flat or cork round. Now getting the female. Here's the male. He's hiding inside there right now, as you can see. So I'm gonna add this to the hardscape. Sorry, buddy. 
now we're gonna introduce the female, and if she's cooperative enough, watch out. I don't know if you can see her there. All right, now I will say we're gonna keep a close eye on them to make sure that they're not aggressive towards each other. And if that is the case, we will separate them again. The plan is to have these guys live together and just to see the family unit. I don't know if you guys have seen Reptiliatus, Diane's channel, but that's pretty much what inspired me to begin this project. guys that's it for this build we're gonna put this up get it under some UVB and a heat source here and a grow light for the plants mr. down and call it a day uh, look forward to showing you more videos in the future to show you how the geckos are doing we're very excited to have them till next time see you later